Hi everybody, November 12th, 2022, beautiful Saturday, like 70 degrees, so I had a broken stabilizer link, so there you go, these are the Moog ones, and uh, basically to get it in, to get this in, to open up this gap here, you jack the car up a little bit, then you get the piece, pieces in, put all the pieces together, then you let the car all the way down, and then see this top nut, this big collared nut here, you want to see two threads above the nut, okay? Then you, then it's tight enough. That's it. So I, you hold this, or you could tighten the bottom, or you could tighten the top, whichever way is good for you. And this is what it looks like. So this is the, uh, this is the side that broke. This is the passenger side. And uh, I'm just going to do the driver's side the same way. Once again, this is a Moog part. I'll put a picture in of the part that I used. Okay. There you go. I had to buy two of them. They don't come in pairs, so just two. Two pieces. So a K700528 is one piece so you need two to do the front of your GM car this is a 2002 Le Sabre there you go okay here's the tools I used the vice grips to grab the big top nut which I'm going to show you now on the Moogs the bottom is a five uh, is a nine sixteenths on the Moog uh, Stabilize the links. The bottom is 9 sixteenths, but the big shoulder nut on top is a 5 eighths. So just spray everything with the PB blaster. Um, I don't know what the old sizes are, but just get the appropriate uh, sockets and wrenches that you need to get the old ones off. I'm going to spray them. So these are the tools I used. Prying screwdriver, hammer, Ratchet, a couple of ice grips, and the jack. And I'll show you what the. Uh, I'll show you. What the, get under here. I'm gonna put my light on so you could see. Here you go. Okay, see that top funny looking thing is just a. Can you see it? Just a funny looking nut. Okay. Then you have this plastic spacer that's kind of gripped onto the stud. So that you could just squash with your uh, vice grip. And then there's the bottom bolt head. So there you go. I'm going to uh, just get all this with uh, the uh, PB blaster now and just remove it. Don't worry if you damage it. I mean, don't hit your boots. There's your boot, your axle boots. Be careful, don't do any collateral damage. And then you could always just break the plastic piece off because you're not gonna use it, you know. This is garbage. So most of this work I'm doing without jacking the car up yet. You just turn the wheel all the way to the side so you can get access to the link, which is right in here, okay? So I just wet everything with PB Blaster. And uh, the bottom bolt head is a 13 millimeter, by the way. So I'm probably going to put my ratchet on that and then on top the vice grips and just get this whole thing off. Okay, folks, here's my setup. Ratchet on the bottom, vice grip on the big nut on top, and I'm just going to unscrew it. I mean, you could just cut these off, but uh, this is the way I do things. It'll take a little longer, but it'll come off. Okay, you see it's coming loose. All right, I got the top knot off, but it's giving me a little hard time, so I'm just gonna hacksaw right through the whole thing. All right, everybody. So I was just laying on the ground, hacking this thing. And look at that. It's amazing, one side, 
was rusted all the way through. Right? Passenger side is rusted all the way through. And the driver's side is brand new. So do you think, per chance, that somebody just changed one of these in the past? Anyway. Okay, let's get back to work. Okay, folks, now, see this gap here? What you're going to do is put your, your regular jack, like you're changing a flat here. And you're going to jack it up a little bit. And that gap's going to open because your control arm's going to drop down. Okay, and then that's going to make it easy to get this, uh, the assembly in. Okay, but do not, then when you uh, lower the car, you're going to tighten the top nut till you can just see two threads of, uh, of the stud coming out of the top of the nut. Alright, so I use my handy dandy jack here. And uh, put the light on. And uh, all it does is, if you come in here, it increases the gap between that and that. So then you're going to put your parts in. And screw that top nut on. Make sure you put the washers in. I'll show you how they go. Washers have to be in. There's three washers and the uh, shoulder washer that's part of the nut on top. Okay, here's the build up, everybody. The bolt heads are on the bottom. There's a washer that goes inside this bottom uh, polyurethane bushing. And then the tapered part goes in to the, this would be into the control arm at the bottom, would sit in here, okay? Then you have another washer in there, you put that in there. It's got these two little grippy things that holds it. Then you have the aluminum hex spacer. Then you have another washer there. Then, then up here. This is where the stabilizer bar goes, where my fingers are. That's where the stabilizer bar would go. And here's the top nut, which is a... Uh, this is... Moog made it really easy. A nice, very long nut that you, you're going to screw down until two threads of this stud come out the top of this nut. Don't want to over-tighten it. You just want two threads. So, with the car in the air somewhat, my tire is still on the ground. So, what's going to happen is with the car in the air, you're going to get all this stuff in. Then you're going to lower it. Then you're going to get this top nut on. And then when the car's fully lowered, that's when you uh, bring this down to where it's just two threads from the stud. Uh, coming out the top of the nut. Okay? So, you don't want to over tighten. It has to be snug. It has to be tight. Otherwise, you're going to see see these parts in your rearview mirror if you don't tighten it. But don't over-tighten it. So the top doesn't get its... This is the washer for the top, in case you were worried. There's three loose washers, and then this one, the washer, is part of the nut. Okay, I actually had the car jacked up uh, a little too high, and I couldn't get this uh, nut on. Okay, so but you could see... There's the build-up. Okay. So I'm going to lower the car, and what, what will happen is this bar is going to come up, and all these thread this is going to go up into the stabilizer bar, and then you're going to tighten this tight, tight uh, top. You're going to tighten it until there's two threads coming. You can see just two threads coming out of that uh, top shoulder nut. Okay, there's the finished product. You can see the couple of threads there on top she's nice and snug back it out for you so that's it you know it's an easy job it's always getting the old ones off that's uh that uh it's a pain in the neck it wasn't too bad though I just hacksawed through it some people use the saws all but it's a beautiful day. I had time, so I used the hacksaw. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care of those beautiful Buicks.
Okay, we're gonna make a UE here and we're gonna check out the new stabilizer links. It's not a very safe street to drive on, is it? All right, let's roll. Well, let's not roll. I'm gonna just stay on the service road here. Doing about uh, 50. Just do a quick lane change here. Go back to the other lane. It's pretty tight. Stabilizer bar is definitely doing its thing. I'm happy with that. You know, I still have the big rubber bushings uh, on the bar mounts. Those I could change in the future to polyurethane, but we're good. She flies like the wind. She's a big car. She's got a little junk in the trunk. That's okay though. A little less body roll is uh, not a bad thing. It's a very cushy car.